nice. Well, I love Paris. Yeah. I always end up coming here to Who see you. don't love Paris? I mean, it's a very good city. Driving in Paris is quite crazy, but it's yeah. really <laughs> beautiful. So we're on our way to Saint-Lys to see the Fondation Française. This collection features in the recently published and newly designed fifth edition of the BMW Art Guide. The current show is by an artist called Kata Atia, yeah. who was born in Algeria okay. and yeah. then brought up in France. And his work is very political, you know, the excesses of humanity, which I think is very interconnected. Very yeah. Mm, yeah. Really interesting. And I'm really excited to see what he does. Yeah, it's, me too. Yeah. We didn't expect to collect. Uh, we just uh, wanted to follow our instinct. The main idea to share uh, reflections or to uh, talk about uh, subjects that you don't share with your husband. Each letter uh, is a weapon, and this is a weapon against uh, violence. I mean, that makes sense. A lot of the work that I've seen from him seems to be about looking at the aftermath of colonialism, the trauma, and thinking about how we recover from that or move on from all of that. Arabic was your first language? Yes, exactly. It's very beautiful. Like, for example, to write my name is the second E, the R, by the... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. it's three letters. Um, this is a Syrian shells. Uh, Kadaratia collected them in Syria. In bombs? Yes. It's a very radical show to be showing here, actually. Yes. Yeah, that's an amazing thing to have the basis of your work. Mm. Yes, I, mean. and I feel strange if I, that I find it beautiful. Yeah. Like the fact that there's bits of rainbow on, on the metal mm. and it's material that has yeah. memory. So that's a really interesting idea, that the yeah. idea of like how is trauma and war in the remnants of things. In the ruins of something. Mm. The damage of all of that. This is a sculpture then, named uh, Broken Face on Sick Max. And uh, the, the ones in marble represent a man with um, a lower part of his face is mutilated. Yeah, you can totally see the relationship to that. Those you yeah. know refer to yeah. these incredible World War I photographs of men who had had yeah. post war and facial disfigurement, mm -hmm. basically because of war. It's also very interesting about how we look at the idea of a face and interpret it with our own histories, yeah. our own concepts of memory of where we're all coming from. Yeah. yeah. So like our ideas of war and the face yeah, and like yeah. Africa and all those things okay. coming into it. Thank you so much for taking us around your space. Oh, very nice welcome. Yeah, it's very nice. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you so much. Thank you. What's your favorite piece? So my favorite piece was the Arabic alphabet. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Uh, that inspired me, my parents, my origin, a lot of things, yeah. I mean, that's what's so interesting, and that's why I think Kata's work is so exactly. powerful. Yeah, I like it so much. It was an amazing experience I mean, for me. It's so brilliant how this book, like, yeah. you end up seeing spaces you would never see otherwise. It's yeah, so exactly. exciting. Yeah. Um, thank you very much, BMW. Thank you for, for you too. And <laughs> Au revoir, bien. Uh, yeah, au revoir. Au revoir. Un peu français. <laughs>